What's up guys, this is Leet Code 268, missing number. And there are many ways to solve this problem, like using a hash table, doing a binary search. You could also sum up all the numbers in the array and see how much is missing. This one uses O of N space complexity, which is not as good as O of one. This one is O of N log N time because you have to sort the array first. And this one could lead to overflows when N is a very large number. So the most optimal solution here is to do bit manipulation. First, we have to discuss XOR. Now the way XOR works is it goes through for all the bits in two numbers and sees if only one of the bits is a one, then it returns one. So in this one, both are one, so it returns zero. In this one, only one is one, so it returns one. Only one is one, so it returns one. It's an exclusive OR. It's either one or the other. Now there's one unique property of XOR that really helps us for this problem. Any number XOR by itself is equal to zero. First, let's look at an example that shows this. This is zero. 0, 0. So you can see that it would apply for any number. Now let's see how this actually helps us a lot for this problem. Okay, so we have this array and we have to return 2 because 0, 1, it's missing a 2, 3, and 4. So we have to return that 2 because that's what's missing. Now if we just XOR all the numbers by each other, this actually equals 6. So that doesn't work. However, there's an interesting idea here. What if we also XOR by the number of elements in this array plus 1? So basically 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's just try that. So this XOR 0, XOR 1, XOR 2, XOR 3, XOR 4. So we discussed earlier that XORing a number by itself just gives 0. So what we can do is cancel out the numbers here that are repeating. So this 0, we can cancel that out. This 1, we can cancel that out. This 3, we can cancel it out. And this 4 we can cancel that out. And that ends up giving us the answer, this two here, because it's the only number that hasn't been XORed by itself. So the trick here is to XOR all the numbers together and then also XOR it by all the numbers that should be in the array. And you'll just get the number that's missing. And time complexity here is O of N because we're just looping through the array once. Space complexity here is O of one because all we're doing is keeping track of this result, pushing all the XOR operations into it. Now, before we get to the code, if you found this helpful so far, please give a like and a subscribe because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And let's get to the code. Okay, first I'm going to store the length of nums into a variable because we're gonna use that multiple times. Then result equals the length of nums. So in our previous example, this would be four. Now for i in range length of nums, result xor equals i and result xor equals nums at i. And we just return result. And that's all there is to it. And we got an answer that was faster than 98.58% of online submissions. So again, if you found that helpful, please give a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.